Hello ladies and gentlemen, what has been going on in your lives? This is Vampire Q and bringing to you another game that I have 3 vs 3 on uh, what's this map? Cinder Fortress I think um, This map is really epic in my eyes I, when I was playing through this game it's like so like exciting you know it's like GG anytime kind of game so um, we'll be commentating on and uh, 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 <laughs> also I'll be casting this game in commentary style and uh, this is definitely team 1 any team that I'm in will be team 1 Vampire Q the Red Zerg and having uh, Dog Fake as a Blue Zerg and Teal ONS Dota King as a Protoss and team 2 we have a purple Protoss Mr. Mini a yellow Protoss, Hazard Z, and an orange is a, I don't know what LTN means, probably Lieutenant, Lu Lieutenant, however you pronounce it, from whichever country you're from. War Gear, I'll just call him War Gear, maybe, I'll, I don't know, sometimes when a game gets heated up, I'll just call by colors. And right now we can see that uh, Team 2, they have sent two scouts, a uh, purple probe and a uh, yellow probe as well. Now Team 1 has got a, uh, a teal probe from Dota King uh, will be scouting gaining user, uh, useful information on each team is what they might be going for now we can see that uh, orange has uh, started an extractor should be seeing a pool about now and yep there it goes and we can see that yellow has come up with a uh, gateway and an assimilator likewise with perp same thing so as of now not too telling of a build oh do the king going for cannons and wait ah so we see a cannon rush from do the king and as of now the cannons still need time to go up and we'll just leave it alone for now and we can see uh just at the last moment before i jumped screened um a cannon was morphing in and we have you can see that vampire kill has actually come out with a pool and he's got an extractor and no drones mining just yet mm -hmm. some attention laps i would say now blue has come up with an expansion as well so he's got his pool coming up right up and i just popped three into gas and vampire kill 2 has just popped three into gas and the cannon is going up for the king now let's see how much damage this will do now we can see that Mr. Mini has actually put all the probes and will be intercepting the probe of Dota King. Now will this probe survive? And I will say no. And this cannon will very likely go down. How many uh, units did the cannon take out? Um, three, four probes lost, and three probes lost for Dota King. So um, the uh, advantage is not entirely wide right now because. Even though oh some rage going on, even though Dota King lost one had, uh, lost one probe less than Mr. Mini, he's got two cannons and a pylon over here that is so susceptible from high ground attack like what we're seeing now by Mr. Mini Stalker and another Stalker from Hazard Z joining in. Now these two probes will have to pull a miracle in order to uh, for this cannon rush to work and I'll say that this cannon rush is going to fail but as of now it's fail and we will not look at it any further now we can see three more gates coming for yellow so we see we'll be seeing a four gate from yellow and a bailing nest and a is underway for orange and it's got its expansion up coming up with two queens now perp is actually not having a lot right now he's just got his second gas he's got a forge um maybe just like a last ditch effort uh, like a last resort in case the dota king's cannon rush really did pull through he can at least warp some defensive cannons uh. now you can see that dota king in is going for the cannon rush his tech is severely hindered and he's just uh got his cybernetics call about 75% done second guess coming up getting a defensive cannon now we can see that there's a bunch of zertling coming in from orange but uh, there's maybe four or five zertlings getting trapped by team one's zertlings now we can see vampire q has got his uh, expansion up dot fade 2 has got his expansion up uh, vampire q now having a roach warren done so we'll be seeing probably ling roach and um, dot fade is still sitting on ling tech 
Coming with an evil chamber, not sure. Oh, defensive spore crawler. So he might be suspecting of some airplay. Um, but we already know that there's no airplay. Now we can see that the four gate for yellow is pretty much delayed. Um, so I'll, I'm guessing that this is more like a defensive four gate. But funny thing is, there's no Protoss doing four gate here. So. Whatever. Now, Mr. Mini, you can see that it's come out with an expansion. So the only one without an expansion right now is Yellow, since Dodo King has just started his as well. You can see that uh, Orange is actually moving out with uh, Zoltlings working to take down the destructible rocks um, for Team 1. And Dodo King has spotted it. Vampire here has spotted it as well, pinging this section of the map. And we can see that there's a proxy pylon over here, most probably from Yellow, since there's a probe coming and his forces are mobilizing and moving towards the center of the map and we can see that team 1 is actually trying to bait the um, damage from the banings taking out two of them not sure the other one but definitely we can spot one that is taken out by the zoning and we can see that um, <coughs> team this attack i'm not sure how well team 1 is going to be prepared for this i would say that the advantage is going to team 2 right now um, team 1 still has got some ample time to prepare since the debris is like uh, around 60% of the health and we should be seeing some spine crawlers going up over here getting more roaches from Vampire IQ and spraying more zerglings from uh, Dota, uh, from Dog Fay the blue zerg Dota King is severely hindered by his cannon, failed cannon rush so he's got no units right now only two stalkers so this will be Oh, the rock has been broken now. We can sh we shall see what comes out of this attack. Now we can see that roaches and zerglings moving forward, and the banings are moving in. You will be seeing. No, actually, no. The banings are actually heading straight for the economy of blue and taking out five to seven drones. And we can see that the attack is still pressing on from team two. Now team one has actually pulled back a little bit with his roaches. Went back his roaches has actually pulled back. And we can see Team 2 is still barreling down upon Team 1 now. The Spine Crawlers has completed and we, the tide should even out just a little bit with a surge of reinforcements from Team 1 and with the Spine Crawlers, it should be enough to drive back Team 2. And uh, actually I think that's kind of a weird call. Team 2 could have pressed on a little bit more, taking out these Spine Crawlers, sniping down the Stroaches, sniping down the Roach Warren. But as of now, not sure which um, team has got the advantage, but I would say Team 2 definitely has got the momentum swing in their favor because they just attacked Team 1 and Team 1 definitely will be springing in uh, a lot of units in defense to stay alive and not die. Now let's take a look of take a look at Tech Choice once again. We can see Robo for um, Dota King and he's got a Twilight Council as well. Now for Zerg, Red Zerg, he's got Macro Hatch coming up. Lair completed and still sitting on Roach Tag. Now we can see there's a bunch of five stalkers coming here toward Dota King's base. Most probably a harass, definitely a harass. Now we can see that Dogfish is actually still on Link Roach Tag, and uh, the harassment is commencing. And Dota King doesn't seem to be doing anything, but whatever. Now Perp has come out with a Forge uh, upgrades. We'll be seeing double upgrades, and this is five gateways with a Robo. And uh, yellow is still sitting on four gates, Twilight Council, Forge. Yep, and uh, orange has come out with a lair and it's got his macro hatch up. So things are pretty even. There's another attack from Team 2 coming down toward Team 1, and these crypto ones are gonna get taken out. I would assume, yes. Four of them go bust, and this spine crawler is still alive and poking away the zerglings. And I would say that Team 1 has held this off pretty easily, unlike the first attack where. Team 2 actually managed to push down across this uh, line over here. Now Team 1, I'll say that they are very much prepared. You can see Dota King actually moving out over here, grabbing this Zionaga Tower. Not sure what he's thinking. Now Vampire Q is sending out some Zerglings. Um, not sure where he's going. Probably to scout around for proxy pylons or... Oh no, he's just taking out these rocks. And uh, Team 2, Perp, Mr. Mini is actually moving about. And... Uh, both teams are sitting pretty tight, um, pretty safe and quiet. Nothing much happening around. Uh, Lieutenant War Gear holding on to the Zanagata, I would say. Uh, team 2 actually is uh, thinking the same thing as Vampire Q, taking out the uh, destructible rocks, actually blocking the expansion. Now there's 
There's nothing you hate more than rocks blocking an expansion. I don't mind rocks blocking paths, but when they block an expansion, that is just like so retarded. To me, that is to me. I mean, for Zerg, what are you gonna use to break down rocks? Zerg links that take forever. Roaches, they are paramount to your infantry, to your army. Now, uh, which Protoss is gonna take this base? I would say it's Mr. Mini. So, Mr. Mini will be the first to go up onto three bases. Dude, the King is gonna observe over here. Uh, Vampire Q. Oh, looks like Vampire Q beat Mr. Mini to the third base uh, acquisition. Now, more gears also thinking of getting up the third base. Now both teams are pretty quiet, taking up, wow this is a lot of Roach and Ling now but with the addition of Hydralisks from Dog Fay. Now let's see what Vampire has, Infest Attack and Double Evolution Chamber upgrades. Same as Blue. Um, Dota King is still sitting on two gate and a Robo on two bases, that is a uh, Interesting, that's interesting. Now it seems that Dota King, oh, a blink up. Now this is the, like a smart blink and uh, he's harassing, attacking the uh, economy of Perp and I would say that he's doing pretty good. Oh, where did these stalkers come from? I'm sorry I did not, I totally missed this bunch of stalkers and we can see there's another attack over here an Infestus, Roach, Link, Hydralis. Um, wiping out the entire force of Team 2, I would say easily with the Infestors, Fungal Growth, trapping all these Blink Stalkers, now Team 2 escapes with two Stalkers and a bunch of Zerlings that has never entered the battle anyway. Now you can see that Team 1 is actually taking down the uh, destructible rocks for Team 2 and has taken out the um, forward pylon as well. Now you can see two Colossus sitting here and this is going to be another tight fight. I will say that the advantage is going to go to Team 2 because of these two Colossus. Where are the Infestors? They're nowhere to be seen. Now Stalkers, Roach, Hydralisks they are moving forward, sniping down one Colossus. One Colossus might go back to uh, stay alive. And we can see that Vambaku is actually taking down the Gateway. Roach Burrowing to regen health and... I would say that this attack from Team 1 has fall, is falling apart, but Roaches are still pressing forward now. They need to get rid of this Colossus. Lips. Colossus uh, splash damage is doing a lot of damage to these Roaches, and we can see that oh, a lot of infested Terrans being thrown up by War Gear from behind. But Vampire simply borrows and retreats with his army. Now we can see that Team 1 uh, is now retreating. And uh, we'll be expecting a lot more reinforcements from Team 1 as uh, we will see most likely a counter push from Team 2. I actually know Team 2 decides to sit tight and wait. Um, now the Colossus joins in the uh, force. Now we can see there's a small group of Vampire Qs. Uh, Zerlings running about, uh, scouting, sit like was with War Gear. Now, um, Mr. Mini and Wargear has got their third base up, Vampire has got his third base up. Now this is oh a cancel expansion. So at least it gets back 225 minerals, not a huge loss. And you can see Baru Invest is actually moving, making the way forward. Now we've got Zerling run by into um, the base of Yellow. But wow, this is cool. This is like six. Zealous warping in an instant, drawing back everything, almost everything from Team 2, but Team 2 is actually moving forward, taking out the creep tumors from uh, Vampire Q, and we can see a small force of Team 1 surging forward and sniping down one Colossus. Will, he, will they get another one? Yes, they got a second one, Fungal Grove trapping the force of Team 2, and with this attack, Team 2 has suffered major losses, now Team 1 decided to ride the momentum and push forward, but no, they're gonna pull back uh, some a round of warping from yellow. It's gonna be more than enough to bolster the force of Team 2 to scare away this force from Team 1. Um, taking part shots at retreating zealots, very cheap but effective. Another blink up by Dodo King. I would say that this attack is pretty fail because the reinforcements have arrived and I would say Dota King better retreats with this and uh, 
P, comma, F, G. Um, that's some interesting language. I do not know what it is. This world has 6,000 noble languages, but um, I doubt I can identify this. <laughs> some Zerling is running up. Um, hmm. Now team 1 is springing for another attack and these two investors looks like they're going to be caught out of position and oh yes fungal growth from vampire keep getting the uh, investor sniping one down taking out another so those two investors died for nothing fungal grows upon the forces of team 2 and I would say that team 2 is going to take out this entire force of team 1 real easily simply just walk over and I'm um, not sure what all this uh, rage is all about probably I don't know because team 1 is too good and we can see some rogue forces from team 2 over here but with team 1 pressing down upon the expansion of well, fungal groups upon the uh, workers taking out a huge bunch of them would there be another fungal group? yes and this whoa where did this huge group of mutalists come from now against all these roaches and hydrolisks these mutalists are going to turn the day and hazard z has left the game for some reason either a disconnect or maybe it's a uh, it's not it's a gg Couple of Colossus, Stalkers, and a round of fresh warpins. I'll say that Team 2 has more than enough to take out this attack from Team 1. But the damage has been done. Vampire Q has actually fungal growth a lot of workers over here. Now Team 1 is sitting, Team 2, I mean, uh, is sitting on 4 Colossus, 5th one from Yellow joining in the fray. And uh, there's. Oh man, how did I miss this Vampire Q's Ling run by attacking on, upon the uh, expansion of. War gear taking out a few drones, I would say. And but this pack of mutas team one doesn't have an answer for this except for mutalisks. I mean, investors, how the hell did I call these mutalisks and um, some hydras? So I would say that this that pack of mutalisks they're the game changers right now, and uh, the momentum is definitely swinging in team two's favor. Um, vampire, you can do well. that's great. Now will we see some neural action? Um, not too sure. Seems like Team One is pulling for attack now. And where's oh for oh man, there's a huge loss of investors. But two neural parasites go. The third one coming, and Mr. Mini has left the game. And uh, also the neural parasite turned the tide of the battle over here. Now uh, Vampire commanding the uh, Colossus to attack themselves. But oh no. All the investors from Vampire Q died, leaving one surviving. So he's gonna tell his tell the tale to his friends. Hey, we knew a parasite, some colossus, and uh, we made a guy leave the game. But we've got all these mutilists over here. Wow, wow, wow! Dogface is just bringing in and sniping the natural of war gear down. Uh, Seeming, I think he's decided that you know he's never going to be able to hit the mutas with his roaches anyway. Why not just do something good, just sacrifice our lives and snipe something? Now, I'll say he's gonna snipe the pool. What's he doing? I'll snipe me the spire. Nice choice, stopping the production from uh, of mutas, but I'll say it's insufficient. So the spire survives with 300 health. Vampire Zotling moving about, scouting for expansion, hidden expansions. And uh, right now, the one that is in this game is War Gear with uh, this pack of mutas. That's 24, 32, 35 mutas. And uh, a lot of. with a lot of resources to back me up. Three players worth of resources. Now, this. I do not know how Team 1 is going to answer this except for some clutch. Fungals from these investors. Now we can see that these mutas are actually flying down in Van Bakyu and oh, fungal grabbing almost a whole bunch of mutas and the fungal continues. Fungal, fungal, and oh, actually, some mutas got free. And wow, this is huge loss for war gear. Now all these mutas are going to fall down from these fungals. Real unfortunate for all range, actually. And 35 mutilists, see you later, and Wargear has left the game. So, yeah, this is the game. Pretty exciting, I would say. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this cast. Sure, I tripped over my woods a little bit. And, uh, well, no biggie.
I'll get better. So, hope you guys enjoyed this cast, and I'll see you guys next time. Vampire Q out.